Today we're going to talk about my art materials. So in your canvas you will notice that there is a tab called all art materials list, all art levels. Um, and in each one of them it shows you, I'll get a little closer, it shows you each class, beginning, intermediate, proficient, and advanced, and what you will need for each class. So I'm going to go over that just a little bit with the materials laid out for you. You'll notice there are lots of different types of sketchbooks. Um, some of them say sketchbook, some say sketch diary, sketch pad, some of them just say sketch, that sort of thing on it, but that's what you need. Um, any of these books will work just fine for you. Um, this, this book here has mixed media, and if you'll notice down here, it says acrylic, watercolor, and pen and, and pencil. So those are really good, but this book is probably gonna cost you just a little bit more. These bigger books like this will cost just a little more. This one's hard bound, and it's gonna cost more, all right? But um, the other thing is that copy paper works just fine. Um, and these are just sheets of loose leaf, um, or of loose paper that have been taken out of, a, of an old sketchbook. So all, any of that is gonna work just fine for you. I'm gonna make sure that I put there. Any of these papers, any of these notebooks work just fine, okay? But what does not work is that um, you should not have a book that has lined paper in it. So don't go out and use one of these one subject binders uh, with lined paper. You don't want your best work to end up on lined paper. All right, the next thing is graphite pencils. You're looking for two, four, and six B pencils. Look for the B on the pencil. The B is right here, if you can see it, right beside my thumb. If I can get it to turn. That is a 2B pencil, okay? So you're gonna wanna look for that. On the packages, this is probably the most expensive set. The numbers are right here on the package. Um, this one has it on it as well. I think it's been ripped off, okay? This package of, of eight, it's just got the three pencils that you need in it. This is probably the one I would go for. Um, because it's the cheapest, and unless you are going to make art something you want to do, I would stick with probably the cheaper of the things. The next thing is colored pencils. Your Crayola, just regular set of 12, and then you've got the much bigger 50 pack. I would just go with the plain Jane 12 for a while. That's going to serve you just fine. All right, if you really wanted to go, um, go all out, there are Prismacolor, so that you're looking for Prismacolor markers. These are the most expensive markers. Um, they, really, they really are something really nice to work with. But as my little note says, these are very expensive. These are fairly cheap, so stay on the cheap side if you wish. All right, the next thing is watercolor paints. So with this, you've got several different sizes and styles. You'll see all these different ones at Walmart. Uh, the ones we use here in the classroom have just got your standard aid in it. Make sure you look for the brush. Make sure, here I'm gonna point it out, you gotta make sure you're looking for the brush in each one of these. Um, because you're going to need a brush with it, okay? Now these are more expensive watercolors and they come in the tube So you will take the tube off and squirt that out. All right. They also have um, little packs Of the trays where you would put the watercolor. You don't really need this um, a uh, egg carton works just as well All right, the next thing that you're going to have to have is watercolor paper Make sure you look for where it says watercolor paper um, this paper is designed for this type of, of, of artwork. All right, now the next thing, of course, are handheld pencil sharpeners. This little uh, metal one works really, really well, but don't use an electric one. All right, uh, same goes with, um, with your erasers. This really cheap pink one works just great. Those that are on the back of pencils, they tend to, um, they tend to wear out really quick, but these are fine erasers. Um, and a ruler, you're just wanting to make sure it's got the inch marks on it. Um, this one by Westcott seems to be the one that everybody prefers, or a wooden one, either way. This is a 24 inch gauge, and it works just as well, so it all depends on what you wanna get. Um, markers, um, I usually don't do washable markers, but uh, Lexmark, Crayola, and Crazy Art make these. I would just go for the standard group of regular Crayola markers. They're the easiest to find and the best to use. Um, crayons, you can go for the big pack or the little pack. The little pack's fine. It still does the job. All right, and there's all kinds of, of glue sticks. Just pick your favorite kind of glue. Um, don't eat it. Um, it is Elmer's. That's the, that's the kind that you would want to get. Um, 
So with that, just make sure that, that it'll, it will stick good for you. Um, the next thing is scissors. Um, I would stay away from these little safety scissor type things. These were used when you were in the second grade. And while they do work, <laughs> try to find a better pair of scissors in the house. Um, don't use your mama's fabric scissors. That is gonna dull her scissors uh, and it won't cut cloth anymore. But find a good pair of scissors laying around the house somewhere. All right, then the next thing is tape. You'll need clear tape. This is just scotch tape. And you'll need masking tape. Notice that it's uh, about three quarters of an inch wide. Do not go get this thicker stuff. It's, it's too wide, you don't need that, okay? Now for beginning art students, that's where your materials stopped. Now, for the others, um, intermediate, I put on there that you guys would need some heavier type of paper. Translucent marker paper is good. It's a 100% ra rag paper, okay? So it's gonna tear a little funny because as the word rag relates to cloth, it's gonna be a little tougher paper. But what I'm really talking about when I talk about thickness of paper is like the front cover of this. Um, so you're gonna want a little thicker paper all right, the next thing that you guys are gonna need is tracing paper. So as with tracing paper, it is super thin. So whatever you put under it, it's gonna see right through it. You can see my hand through it. And if you press it down, you can actually see the words on something through, the, through it. And that's a really good thing to look for, okay? The next thing is um, Sharpie markers. Um, I've got dry erase markers out here as an example, but but look past that. These are like Sharpie markers. Um, the next thing for use advanced students um, are exacto knives, and you're gonna want to get this pack like this exacto knife. You want to get a little fancier. They've got them that come with three or four in a pack like this. But this one is the one that you're gonna need. It's very sharp. Don't cut yourself. Um, but there's gonna be some some things you're gonna want to use that for. Um, the last thing I would say is, is get a set of baby wipes. Uh, that's not on the list, and certainly you don't all need that, but if you're gonna be making somewhat of a mess with glue and things, baby wipes has got a little bit of alcohol in it. It will take it up, whereas other things won't. Um, if you were looking for these, all these things in one spot, Blick, and look at the, uh, the web address, dickblick.com. That's the folks that you would, would um, look it up, and you can make your order that way. Um, my last little thing is about cost. Beginning art students, about $22. Now, you shouldn't spend that much because some of this is going to be laying around your house. Okay? And same goes with intermediate, about $30. Again, look around the house before you go out to Walmart. And uh, advanced and uh, proficient artist, my honors level, about $36. Um, and very likely you're not going to have to spend that much because you've already got some of this from previous art classes. So this is a little bit today about my art materials, and I hope that it will help you get started to have a successful semester. Thanks.